This tutorial shows the calculation of the effect size following significant postdoc tests after a Kuskel Wallace test. It is common practice to calculate the effect size R after observing differences with Dunn's tests. R equals the standardized test statistic divided by the square root of the number of observations of the two groups that showed a difference. We can easily do that by putting the results of the Dunn's test into a vector, which I call D. I can now calculate R within D. I specify D dollar sign R as the test statistic divided by the square root of the sum of the two groups each time a pairwise comparison is conducted. Now I can request the results and see the effect sizes for each comparison in the last column, called R. Finally, you have to classify the magnitude of the effects. If similar studies in your research field exist, compare your effect size with the given ones. If no comparable study exists, however, use the common thresholds within your research field. If those are also non-existent, you can refer to Cohen 92, a power primer. Page 157 shows three thresholds for the effect size R. If it exceeds 0.1, it is a small effect. If it exceeds 0.3, it is a medium effect. And if it exceeds 0.5, it can be classified as a large effect, as is the case in my example. When you're done, you have to write up the results. The video that appears now will show you how.